Today we're going to make the Conforge two-man class for uh, Fort Worth. Our judge, Troy Ehrmantraut, turned this one in. It's 18 and a half inches of 3 8 by 1. It's three-quarter fullered. It's a hind heart bar. Welded in the bar. Got quarter clips. Punch for six. Concave five nails. We're going to center punch it at nine and a quarter. And then we've got marks on the edges, and those are at inch and three quarters. Inch and three quarters from each end. Did that with an anvil devil. We're going to bump it in the center. I just think that when you make a toe bend, you ought to have a little bit of material in there. It's a big long piece, so make sure you get your toe bend pretty tight. Tighten up the toe bend, and then do the same to the other side. Got a pretty nice tight toe bend. I'm gonna make a really steep taper, as steep as I can, because it's gonna get long quick. Flatten it up. As steep as you can. I'm gonna put it up here where my mark is and bend it around somewhat. And then I'm going to start this edge all the way up. Keep this edge as straight as you can. This edge right here. Try and keep that straight. And then I'll bend it around the rest of the way. Make sure this line is pretty straight before you start in on it. I'm going to find that little groove right there and push it around and then pull it back towards you. Pushing it down to make that a nice acute bend. Same here. Just get it nice acute bend. Get that tip nice and tight. What you got is half a W. What you want to make is the quarter comes in at the same angle, comes in as the commissure, commissure, and out again to the heel branch. So try and make uh, half your W. This will make it to where you don't have to mess around with your frog plates that much after they're bent. Make as steep a point as possible because it gets long on its own. Find that tip, that groove, and put it at the very top of the horn. And use the edge of your hammer and fuller it out. Come in here.
We'll finish it up with one more heat. Find that little notch I put in there with my anvil devil. Push it around pretty tight. Then kind of side scraping blow it. I'm pulling it back towards itself. I'm pushing that material into the corner. And the same here. Pushing all the material down in to that back of the heel. Pushing that back a little bit because, like I say, that's open too wide. You can see because it's not going to make half of the frog. It's too too wide, so I'll just push it back in there a little bit, and that's going to be. It comes in and comes up more like the frog there. I'll put my quarter bend in there. Kind of sweeten up the branch just a little bit. If I want to move the frog plate over, I can put over that way, or I can move it this way. other side got half a shoe make my quarter bend start here start drawing it a little bit You can see how they over cross each other. So all I'll do here is grab that point here and hit this side to where they line up a little bit better. Just kind of hemming and stretching just a little bit. I'm hitting that one point and getting them to line up. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull everything tight and then put some flux on it. pretty well pushed together just kind of get everything like I, I want it whenever I weld then I'll put Iron Mountain Forge welding flux on it every batch is made in Russell Colvin's bathtub old-fashioned lead paint in that bathtub that's why it turns out just the way it is Cool. I'm gonna bring it out and get all my edges stuck. It's really important on this first weld to get the edges stuck and to come here and get this back piece overlapped and, and welded because that has to get thickened up again. If you don't do that, it won't weld. 
It'll just keep busting on you. Got all my edges put together. Take one more weld this way. back here again get all these edges cleaned up really nice and then what I'm gonna do real quick so that you can shape up the bar is you just stick it in this right here and we go there now I can get to the bar the whole time Get all those edges put together really nice. Get your length. If you didn't have it welded before now, then you just probably should just blame Brandon. And then we'll just get a little bit of heat on it, straighten it back up, and life is good. Nice, tidy frog plate. back in the center of the shoe. All right, we're gonna line everything up. Everything's pretty square. And mark my fullerin. Seat it out real good. And we'll critchler. All righty. We have got half a shoe done. Set up with my Hammond, kind of go on out to the quarter, go up over the top, and then down the other side.
we'll, we'll quarter clip it. All right, muscle memory. We're just gonna quarter clip it, try and hit the same spot over and over and over again. Got me a nice source hole, kind of flatten everything up around it. And then come here and I think that Gary Darlow makes the best quarter clips in the world and I'm on pace to make one half as good as him before I die. The thing about quarter clips is you don't want to improve. You want to do the same as you did last time. Even if it's not that great, you want to be consistent. We finished it up my shoe this shoe came a little bit bigger than the specimen and so a lot goes into that mark right there I marked for my frog plate an inch and three-quarter well you could bump it up a little bit to inch and seven eighths maybe two inches but it, it changes drastically because an eighth inch is a quarter inch difference in the branch length so uh, I came just a, a skosh big on my length and width so I would probably adjust it and put more into that mark where I put my mark on and I think you'd be coming just good. But it's just something to play with. Those marks on the heel are, are good for practical reasons. If you've got a horse that needs hard bars, this is a great way to do it because it's simple and it's fast.